<clears throat> Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I just noticed that Chris Harbour uploaded a video about upgrading or increasing the efficiency on his turbine. <clears throat> and you guys are probably wondering where I've been. Well, the spring flow isn't very much. And I've been busy doing other things. You guys know that. Uh, <clears throat> so, I just measured the flow. I just set the turbine on top of this bucket and timed it. That's a six gallon bucket. It took uh, a little over two minutes. That's around three gallons per minute, which is awfully low. Um, the spring that I measured, I've gotten readings very commonly at least five gallons per minute or 10 or 15 gallons per minute up to 40 or 60 gallons per minute at times. <clears throat> but right now we're only at three gallons per minute. Uh, and it's, well, I have the valve turned off a little bit just so I can see the valve or not the valve, the, uh, the jet alignment. And we can see right there, you can kind of see there's two jets coming off of the, the spoons there. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good, see the two jets there, one, one there and one over there. So that's a really good alignment for the jet. And we can see it here too. Oh, I got my light on. So we're not getting there. If, if you put it in the right spot, you get none of it shooting past to the back wall. So it's it's great alignment. And we can see there's one jet coming off the end there. <clears throat> and then there you can kind of see another jet right, right there. There's another jet. So alignment's good. I just don't have a whole lot of pressure to keep this guy running. Nor do I have small, efficient jets to put on it. Um, that jet there is 1.81 inches in diameter, or 0.181 inches in diameter, and probably flowing a lot of, a lot more water than you know I even have available. Um, <clears throat> Let me open this up the rest of the way so it's not restricted. You can see it's still not spinning. Even if I get a little bit of a kick start. Okay, maybe it starts to go then, barely. Um, so I guess there's a few things that I, I can say about this. First, I don't have enough water. I know that. Um, it's just a seasonal variation right now. It's kind of a dry driest part of the season, nothing is really uh, soaked through yet. The second thing is, I could put a bigger turbine on it, like a larger diameter, which would give me more torque, and would overcome the friction in the turbine. <clears throat> now, three gallons per minute at 280 feet is uh, it's a decent amount of power, but clearly we are not using all of it right now for, for a few reasons. And I'll try to explain it here. <clears throat> and I'm going to be doing other videos, um, better curated videos besides this one at a future time. And I may make these videos unlisted because there's not, they're not really part of the final project. So it'll be like a numbered video in the future. Now I can make it a larger diameter to get more torque there just stalled out. The pressure is equalizing. Uh, larger diameter, more torque to overcome the friction in the turbine. Now, I I sized this turbine so the, the alternator that I'm using, the three phase permanent magnet alternator, is actually a, a pretty good one. And it's sized appropriately, you know, look at there. It's not a small guy, but it's, it's not too big either. And the, the problem with going with a larger runner. A larger turbine wheel and you get a slower rpm so you get less voltage but to make the same power you have to put more amps through it and i don't exactly know what the amp rating of this turbine is once i get full flow running back in here you know after we get up some rain it hasn't rained a whole lot recently and then well we did get some snow well hey there's some snow there but it's it's uh i don't know if you get a light snow and then it just sublimates right into the air, then is it really precipitation? <clears throat> I 
Now I could put a smaller diameter jet on there. I don't have a smaller diameter jet to increase the pressure. Right now it's running steady state at approximately 20, 21 uh, PSI. If I put a smaller nozzle on there, that would restrict the flow and increase the pressure and increase the efficiency and the power coming out of the nozzle. Because right now we're losing about 100 PSI to friction. That's an odd statement to make. Um, but we're losing 100, 100 PSI to friction of just water falling down the pipe in an uncontained manner. So it's just kind of gurgling down. Uh, but I, I need a smaller jet to make this even maybe do something and more well I or more water more water would help too um, final inspection for the house is Tuesday at 9 a.m. I have spent the past week putting up uh, plywood sheeting and insulation between the garage and the house which was the last thing I had to do and I was kind of waiting to do that because I need to get the garage cleared out and to do that I put a lot of stuff in the shed that we got which time took time to get the money for, and order, and get it chipped, and to show up. So that just took time. And I spent the past week working 10 hour days. So that's 70 hours of manual labor, kind of doing plywood and insulation, uh, blowing cellulose in, well, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, plywood between the garage down there and the house above and then blowing cellulose into it at the same time so it was a lot of work and I'm kind of tired and I don't have my editing computer set up so I don't have any videos edited for you guys so I figure I would do this video just to keep something on my channel and something active um, because the YouTube algorithm likes having more YouTube more active youtubers which will increase both ad revenue and views and watch time. Which YouTube all always uh, values highly. So I was trying to... That's a German 3. I'm American 3. Uh, so that's, that's why I'm putting up this video as more content. Even though it's kind of filler between the main parts of the project. Um, I, I, ha I want to have something for you guys to do. To watch even though it's just straight off my phone because I will be editing this and uploading straight off my phone not editing just uploading straight off the phone uh, a few other things to observe here I have well that work lights just set up with a 40 watt bulb and it sometimes we get enough water it depends on the local like rain um, sometimes it's enough to run that but again it's been pretty dry so the water isn't very saturated I mean the ground isn't very saturated and the spring isn't flowing very much based on previous observations. Also, you can kind of see that the, the lid there is shiny, so we're getting condensation on it. And I want to do something about that. Um, some, I want to add some insulation to take care of that. So that'll be part of uh, another video that will be... Well, I have at least two videos. I have um, finishing the, the turbine pit here, which is going to be the lid and the perimeter and drilling that hole and cementing it in. Mortaring it in, sorry. And then another video of building the turbine housing. Uh, so those will be two numbered videos. And then probably a third video of uh, starting it up and doing some initial power analysis. But that'll have to wait maybe a month or two. Um, or days, I don't know. We'll see what the weather does to get some more water coming out of the spring and down the pipe. And then I have a longer series on the ice collection. So maybe guys look forward to that too. Uh, unfortunately, I have it tore down right now because the wife says no. Mm, whatever. Also, it's 8 a.m. and it's 25 degrees out. And I haven't shaved or you know, brushed my hair. And the kid's inside with mom. So <laughs> I've been busy. I'm a little tired. Um, I'm happy that this is set up. I'm just not happy that there's enough water right now to mess around with it. I also got a 100 amp, 200 volt uh, shunt current meter, amp meter, um, voltage meter. So I'll be able to see the exact power coming directly off of the off of the rectifier, um, and then I can just do some simple load testing with uh, <clears throat> with like incandescent lights 
that would be a, a good way to load test it um, with enough flow. Also, I have, you guys saw, on the side of the turbine there, there's another port so I can add another um, jet. And as long as I'm doing it manually, it doesn't matter if I only have two. Um, in the final design, I'm not going to have it oriented like this in this housing. I'm going to have a stainless steel housing with a turbine oriented vertically with more than two jets, probably four, maybe five, bet, five jets. Um, but I could, if we get more water, I can tee off from that, run to the other port there with a larger jet. You see some jets sitting down there that are not actually designed for this. They're just like, well, that one's an electrical fitting, that one's a hose fitting. <laughs> Um, so I could try getting uh, more water through this, and I could probably get close to a kilowatt of power generated through that um, if we got some rain to fill that guy up. So that's that. Um, I guess I'll see you guys around. Like, comment, subscribe, Patreon, Amazon, and that's all I can think of. Bye.